something we're going to look at of Jet Bull, and I'm going to give you a tour of this website. If you want to deposit, all you do is hit the deposit tab, just clearly mark for you there. Just taking its time, this website's a little bit slow, I've noticed. So, now you've got all the options debit cards, credit cards, e wallets. So, I normally use an e wallet, which is NetTeller. You just hit deposit, NetTeller, and it takes you to a new and new page and all you need to do is enter the secure ID and the amount that you wish to withdraw and then once your money is in the account all you need to do is work out how to place your bet so Jet Bull are quite a good company they pay quite well I've noticed but they don't take huge bets so you can use Jet Bull just really to to bolster your profits up for the the month. They're not a huge bookmaker, they're quite a small company, um, but they're not bad. So, if you're betting in the Manchester United Arsenal game, yeah, the odds there, 2.26. So that goes into your Ben slot. Now, JetBull do not advertise their maximum bet. They don't tell you, but I've, I've worked out a little problem in there. JavaScript and their HTML coding that if you type in a number to the betting slip it flashes up and it actually tells you. So I'm going to type in 2000 and it says there that your stake is too high. Maximum stake on this selection is £820. So that's the most you can bet on that Manchester United. So what I would do, how I use JetBull is I'll bet this that amount I'll bet 820 and then I'll aim to bet the same amount in play as soon as the game is kicked off. So that's Jet Bull. They don't take huge bets but it all adds up and I use Jet Bull just really to, to bolster my profits as I say. So that's the guide to Jet Bull.